Hey wonderful people, let's learn how to create this. So before starting the tutorial, let me ask you for something. I want 100 likes. I'm aiming for likes now. I want 100 likes on this video. 100 likes. If you like this tutorial, please drop a like. If you love this tutorial, please subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to like a Facebook page and follow me on Twitter. And let's dive into the tutorial. So here I am in After Effects and the first thing I'm gonna do is something incredible and uh, no one has ever done. I'm gonna do something that uh, will make you go wow and uh, this is uh, I'm going to create a new comp. I am the one, the way you're trying, no so here I am with my comp. Uh, I have a background layer. It's uh, a grayish uh, or something you call and uh, now let's create a new shape layer. Right click new shape layer. Go down there. Add an ellipse and uh, just add fill so i'm gonna change the fill color to something like uh, this you can use whatever color you want but uh, for me this is perfect now go to ellipse path right here and scale it down like this so this looks good and now let's uh, select the shape layer and call it i'm gonna call it base so press p go something like here and push it down like this select both of them press F9 so it is easy eased now now let's uh, duplicate this layer and call it circle 1 and uh, now press P uh, delete the keyframes uh, press and hold control and click here and uh, just scale it up I want it to be something a bit bigger than this put it something right here S select circle one press P and go to something like here and just get this out of frame so now it's done select both of key frames press F9 so now this is something we have now now go to the first frame duplicate the circle one now we have circle two go to position go on to the first keyframe like and select position and change it right to something like this now see what we got here so we don't want it to be exactly timed like the other one so duplicate this one press P go to the first frame select position and place it something like here duplicate press P I don't know whatever you want so now we've got something like this you can scale down this base one I wanna scale it down a bit more so we can see what we got here so now we have all the settings you can add as much as you want but uh, uh, for sake of tutorial I'm just gonna be using uh, these four so now let's uh, add those links so for that right click create a new solid so here I have the solid name it link one go on to effect and preset and type in beam so here is the beam under generate and drop it on the link one change the length to 100% change both of the colors to this white color or whatever these circles are change the thickness to 1 this one also to 1 so now it looks perfect smoothness to 0 we don't want it to be smooth we want it to be sharp so now let's go on and select base press P select circle 1 press P so link 1 uh, will be used for circle 1 so go to link one I want the start point like this is the start point to be attached to this uh, what you call this base layer so press alt hold alt and uh, tie up uh, click on start point so now we have this so now let's uh, click expression pick whip and drop it on the pick whip the base position like this and 
click here so it's the start point is now attached to the uh, base layer now press and hold alt uh, click on end point and now drag this one towards the position of circle one press here so they both are attached now as you can see they both are attached so do the same thing for the circle two duplicate this layer so I'm gonna call it link to so what we have here the end point just uh, press and hold end point and it will remove uh, the end point from the circle one and just press and hold alt and click end point let me just do it again go to circle 2 press P go to link to press end point and drag the pick wave to circle 2 so now we got two of them attached duplicate this layer link 3 press alt and hold end point then go to circle 3 press P to bring down the position go to beam of link 3 and uh, press and hold alt and click end point and pick whip to circle 3 so no matter how many circles you've got uh, do repeat the these step uh, uh, again and again uh, until you've got all of them covered so I'm gonna do it uh, for circle 4 now so now I've got it for all the circles as you can see they all are attached to the base one so now it's time for breaking these uh, strings so I want all of these to be broken down right here and I want this middle one to break at the very end so let me just bring the position so we've got animation for up so now let's break these strings so right here create a keyframe for time uh, for link one and just go one two three four frames ahead and change the time from 50 to 100 percent so now what we got here is just like this so let me just press U now two keyframes I think is good one keyframe for me one keyframe looks perfect so do the same thing like this after this I want this one to break create a keyframe for link two uh, create a time keyframe go one frame ahead and change that to 100% uh, and after that for link 4 create a time like this uh, okay and time keyframe go one frame ahead and change it to 100 so that's what we got after that and uh, go to link 3 create a keyframe for time 1 2 3 and change it to 100 and go to the keyframes press U and select both of them press F9 so this everything looks fine but uh, I, I have to do something else I want all of them to get more thinner as uh, all of these circle go up so for that go keyframes for starting thickness and thickness and create something 0.6 and 0.6 do th do the same for all of them start thickness and thickness 0 0.6 0 0.6 do for all of them So now we have this animation so for the last one I want to create something much more interesting I want it to not just go straight up I want it to look like thread so for this go and type in turbulence displacement and drop it on the link so press U so we can see the keyframes so I want the size to be 60 so 60 looks fine amount mm, zero right here and I want amount 50 on the second keyframe so 50 looks fine uh, make a keyframe for evolution and go to the last frame and change it to something 
90 or whatever so that's all for today if you find this tutorial helpful please drop a like and please 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 subscribe and share it with your colleagues friends if you want to help them and uh, i hope uh, this was helpful and i tried my best explaining you every little detail and if you think uh, i should uh, do some more of these tutorials please drop down uh, in the comment what you want for the tutorial next tutorial and i would love to uh, work on that tutorial and find a solution for your problems that's all for today 100 likes subscribe share see you in the next video